Welcome back to our Station Ears Let's Play. This is episode four. Um, I'm a bit more informed. I've done some more building. Uh, the whole mining belt thing. I finally, finally, actually, um, learned how to actually get the um, how how to actually wear the mining belt instead of just holding it. So now, uh, let's see. Let's see if I can actually do this. I make sure. I'm, oh, my drill's still switched on. <laughs> but well, I've only just switched on. So don't worry. I haven't been wasting power. Um, so to actually get them uh, the ores to go directly into your mining belt instead of having to keep on changing hands or whatever, if we can just find some bloody ore, that'd be handy. Uh, you do actually have to wear it, which means I'm getting the belt in my hand, press it, and then you have to press and hold five to swap types of belt. So now I'm wearing the mining belt and holding the um, the tool belt, which I'll just um, store away. So now let's actually um let's just open that. And start drilling. And you'll see all the ores go into my bottom left um, stuff automatically without me having to pick it up. Actually, this could do with some ore. I've actually been gathering lots of ore. Oh my god, that's a... I'm, I'm, no, this is too much of a pit. It's the morning, so I don't want to waste the day on this. Um, my um, my helmet light is switched off this time, for the daytime. Something I keep on forgetting. People, people keep on pointing out. I mean, this episode, what I'm going to try and do is automate our solar panel, uh, which means building a computer, some logic, some daylight sensors. Oh, it's going to be a thing. Um, and I'm <laughs> um, also, inside my base, um, I have like um, gone crazy with the lockers. And I've also got a door, um, but it's a, it's a glass door that's permanently open at the moment. It does need to be powered, I mean, if I want to close it and open it, but I don't really. But yeah, here we go. Hang on, let's just put my light on so we can see what's what. So there's my, um, what was my organics chest. Uh, there's my ores and stuff. And there's my misc. Uh, I also did drag. Where's it gone? I think I must have dragged it out again. I have learnt how to actually drag these buggers around. And um, by clicking on that and then doing this awful draggy type thing. Which is it's really hard to actually put things down. Um, but, yeah, I'll leave them for the time being. Nothing out here is important. The do I got... I keep on doing that because of the momentum. Oh no, the momentum of this bloody. Th oh. I I've almost got no jetpack fuel left. I'm just sliding and sliding at the moment. I think this must be at some point something I built to get a way out. But oh god, I don't know. No, this is it. This is my um, escape hatch of dreams. Right, never mind about that. Oh, I can close it if I wanted. Wee. But I don't want to. As I say, when it get, and when the power goes off, it gets stuck in whatever state it's in. So I don't really want to be doing that. Uh, yeah, I've also pushed things against the wall. And um, what, what we really need to do is now is actually start smelting it and stuff. Um, right. Let's. I haven't got anything to smelt at the moment. Let's put in some. I've got some, loads of silver, but I haven't really um, got much to do with that. And where's the gold? There it is. I put some. I put the tape in there by mistake. But never mind. Yeah, let's weld that. Uh, um, furnace that. Uh, someone did um, um, in the comments school me about how to um, build a, that furnace that I dismantled at the end of the last episode. Um, it's a, it turns out that's a proper ass furnace. This, this is just a shit arc furnace, but a proper ass furnace can do everything um, and more that that can do. But it's a whole thing. And there's a, a shitload of things you have to take into account, uh, which looks like a more advanced thing. You, you need computers, but we're actually going to build a computer just to do our, our basic solar panel stuff. I want to make it like tilt on its own. Um, I don't 100% know how to do this. I know what you need, but anyway. While that's doing that, I'm going to put a wall light up, because I, I made one of these. Um, and I think you have to construct it on an iron frame. You can't, for some reason, do it on a on an iron wall. Ah, uh, there we go. That's a little more like it. Let's turn that off. It's terrible. <laughs> the light reaches about one square. Oh, good God. All right. There, yeah, let's put the um, thing light on. Uh, I might have to put more than one light on. And also, oh yeah, that's that probably doesn't need to be on at the moment. I, I could. Um, it's using up power, which I. How oh, are you? Oh, um, I'm wondering whether I should put a um, a bigger battery in here. Unfortunately, I've only got one big battery because the only way to make another large battery at the moment is to make steel, and I think you need a furnace for that, which is the whole entire thing. But let's. I think we should actually try and get on with our bloody bulk, um, bloody computer thing. Just. We'll probably have to move the solar panel. In fact, I'm, well, that mezzanine we talked about, I'm going to... I've started it, but I haven't actually got quite enough iron frames here, but we could put, like, a, maybe even, like, two solar panels up here. Um, just to, like, really get the power. Although, to be fair, I mean, it's not... As it, the, the, the main problem at the moment is we can't really store the power. We've got this. This one bloody box. But that's about it. 
So I'm not quite sure how, the, how to like improve the capacity other than just like change that to a bigger battery. Right, so we need a computer. We also need a, a logic circuit board. Uh, but let's wait for that. God, there's a lot of stuff. Ah, there we go. Kit computer requires iron, gold, and copper. We've got that. Gold is the, the thing that we've got least of, although I have actually made some gold. Um, in fact, it's right there. So that shouldn't be a problem. Right. So we've got a computer. I'm not sure how this is going to look. Let's have a look. So is this some... Is, the, is that outlet at the front or the back? This very, very much looks like everything's at the front, so I, don't, I need to worry about... Where, where, where shall I put it? Where shall I put my computer? I can put it right in the middle just to be really annoying. All right, stage one is complete. Um, I've connected the the data up to the main um, power supply. Um, I think I think you can actually um, double the the wiring up to carry both data and power, but I'm not 100 percent sure about that. But um, we'll have to see about that. Uh, so at the moment, there's not really much I can do with the um, computer. I think I have to have to put a data disk in there. Um, I believe I actually have to craft that. I don't think you, I don't think I've actually got one. Oh, I've, I've got a data disk. What does it do, though? Um. Oh, hello. Ah, right. This is where you have to craft the motherboard for logic. So, let's actually work that out. Somewhere in... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, right. It's not powered. Oh, god damn it. I think we're currently doing spending all our juice on re on the recharge. Also, my powers, my actual power is getting low, so I better swap those round. Which means I'm going to put this. God, they're all so low powered. Yeah, hang on. Temporarily switch that off. Right. What do we need? We need a little bit of extra copper. We have a little bit of extra copper. And. So five gold, five copper. One. We only want one of these, so I have to make sure we switch it off, otherwise it'll keep on making them. Pop! Uh, I think I can safely switch my light off now, but it just gets so dark. <laughs> um, and this bloody light was useless. Yeah. Right. Ooh! Here we go. Oh no, this is going to be hard. <laughs> ah. Well, that gold is just licking about. Hmm. Oh my god. But let's switch it off for a second. What we need to do is make a wall, se a light sensor for our thingy bob. I reckon. Actually, it's getting already going towards the dark time. Let's get rid of that. Let's put our bloody light back on. Um, I should actually keep my. I should remember to keep my duct tape. Woohoo! In there. And whereas I think there's a sp there's already a s sensor that you start with, and you have to put this, I believe, on a frame. So I'll do it up here, whatever. It's got, I want it to be nice and close to stuff. Um, let's build it kind of like over here. On we have to build some serious wiring, aren't we? You can do a daylight sensor, motion sensor, or gas sensor. We want the daylight sensor, of course. Really want to be able to. Let's turn this round. There we go. Well, I know what we'll do. We'll, we'll put it above. Hopefully we'll try and put it above here. So then we can just wire it a bit more easily. Anyway, um, let's circuit board solar control. We actually do have all this. I believe you have to make this. If not, oops. Right, there's a busy, really sucking in the power from here, but we should be okay. We're still getting the solar panel power. But charging batteries is really expensive, and it seems to really kind of like them soak up all the power that you'll ever actually be using. Power low. I've got my own my own power's low now. It's all these other... Air, airlock control? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. We've got, we've got to build an airlock at some point. That's a, a really big thing, which I'm not going to do anytime soon, I don't think. And that's a bloody furnace. And a water filter. There doesn't seem to actually be any food requirements at the moment, despite the whole cereal bar thing. I wonder if that's some just for energy or something. Or who knows. 
Anyway, oh my goodness. Okay, that's might actually be enough wire. Switch off. That isn't building more, is it? Oh, I've built two. God, I wasn't paying attention. Got two of the damn things now. Well, fine. Where does this actually go, though? Okay. Um, so, I've built a console. This is something that you get with to start with. Um, I've wired in a console. Um, I put in our circuit board, our solar... We've, remember, we've got a spare one, so... Um, where is this? The circuit board. Where's that spare one we've got? Eh, not sure where that is. Um, well, yeah, we put, I put the circuit board in there, and then I put a sheet of glass on top. Um, and I've switched it on. However, there's no power. I've also dragged those things inside. I say inside, but, you know. I keep on tripping over things at the moment. I still haven't put that these things onto the wall, but that would require stuff. <laughs> right, that's now doing something. Ah. An, there's a chance these this might actually not be working in this patch, which would be a pain in the arse. Um, I've transferred the data disk that I put into the computer. That was a, that came with a, came with them the original batch of stuff, and I've bunged that in there. I didn't realise there was actually a slot there. But this is still flashing an error. But at least it looks like we can actually do stuff now. Is that cycling around? It is. So everything that's connected up to the system does seem to be there, but other than the actual solar panel, can't see that listed anywhere. What's oh, it still? <laughs> filter. No. Display temperature. Don't display temperature. Okay, um, a long time later, and I've been referring to a guide on Steam by, I think, Super Gunshot, um, who put together a, a basic guide to how to automate your thing. Um, so I've actually re rearranged everything. Um, I've stripped out the computer from over here. Um, I'm kind of like ignoring that as maybe useless. I put the computer over here temporarily and connected its network port only to the, the, like, the power input section rather than trying to connect it to the whole thing. Uh, the solar panel is up there now, and also there's a daylight sensor is facing the direction of the sunrise. Um, so it's now, what is it, 52 degrees. So it's that's increasing um, as time goes on. And what we want to do is make it so it... This is, this is currently vertical 90 degrees. And we want to make it so that as this gets higher and higher, um, the vertical degrees here gets lower and lower. Uh, so, um, I've started looking at how to program this. I'm not getting very far with it so far. I've got one state, and it's not quite in... I think we need to bin this and restart it. There we go. Now, the thing on the list on here now is only um, is only telling us um, what we've actually... Yeah, we need to actually do that. And it's only telling us what's connected up on this side of things, rather than all that nonsense over there. So, the daylight sensor. When that um, solar angle is... I'm, get, I'm thinking, this is the best way of doing it for me, is less than about 30 degrees. So that's at the sunrise. Then we want the um, solar panel vertical angle to be... I think this is where we need it to be high. We need it to be at 90 degrees. Uh, and then, next state is state 2, but we haven't actually added the state yet. So next state goes on to state 2. And then we have to add exactly the same and just redo it. Um, the Steam guide I was referring to um, had about 11 states. Um, I'm going to stick to 6 and um, have it go up in... Um, increments of 30 rather than um, smaller ones. And this is really hard to use this interface. It's just really kind of fiddly. Let's get rid of that so we can see. So, then we have to type it in again. I don't think there's a way of copying things over. Um, but, um, the solar angle is now less than 60. So it goes from less than 30 to less than 60. Then we'll want to, like, twiddle it a bit. Actions. So, we need to move the solar panel, vertical. It was 90, now we need to get to, to divide nicely, I think 75 degrees. Um, and then, next state, state 3, and so on. Um, the trouble is, have I got time to do this? Um, let's see if I can actually try and... Well, this, uh, well, the trouble is, at the moment, is I've got no coal. Why actually have got coal? That's fine, we can do this, uh, we can put that in and do it overnight. And these are really sucking up the juice, all this bloody charging nonsense. Okay, let's try and... I'll try and get us all six done um, today before the sun goes down. Okay, I think that's it. Um, I've programmed in six, 
six states. Uh, McCurney is in state six by the looks of it. Um, the daylight sensor solar angle is less than 180, i.e. It's, it's like 160 at the moment. We can go and check by looking at it. 167 degrees. So as soon as that gets to 180 degrees, in theory, um, they should now move on to state one because we've got it in a loop. So yeah, less than 180, it'll stay at the vertical zero, which is what it currently is at. And I'm th thinking overnight, it should. I don't think it's actually going to move, but it'll, it'll go into state one. But I just loop around. Uh, so state one. It, it should not do anything. It should, shouldn't actually move the thing until the morning. But we'll see. I don't actually know. I'm hoping it's going to work. Um, I don't think the computer actually needs to be on. Well, maybe it does. I don't know if the computer needs to be on for this to operate or not. I, I thought so. Um, we've got plenty of power at the moment. But, I mean, the, um, still generating because it is actually f facing at the sun. But that's going to be... Oh. <laughs> Zero. Now the computer will go off soon because the battery will run out. We are still... This is... Oh, this is not charge. Oh, dicks. I wasn't charging the batteries. Um, well, I've got some coal for the generator. So we might as well do that now. Ah, the computer's back on again. <laughs> Good to see. Oh, no, it's off again. It's, it's going to be busy recharging this. Which we really do need to do. There's one that's already charged and the others are in various states. Uh, okay, so now we've really got to wait until morning. Okay, I think the sun's about to rise. Um, there's hmm, a few things I'll have to do. I don't know if the computer has to be switched on or not for this to work. Um, I think so. I think, I don't know about this. Um, I haven't really got time to check up for this episode. But um, I have a feeling you might be able to program that disk. Um, with all that information, and then stick it in here for it to control everything. But at the moment, that's not going to happen because it's not connected up correctly. But hopefully the um, the, the computer should allow us just to actually demonstrate to see if this is actually going to work or not. Um, I'm waiting to switch it on. At the moment, there's not enough power in the grid to actually really do anything. Um, but I've got, I've got some full batteries ready to go. Oh, here we go. So, yes, it's one degree. Um, let's switch on... Well, let's um, swap out those batteries. Switch on the computer. I'm just going to turn this off temporarily, just so it's not sucking up the juice. No. Oh, here we go, it's going! It's moving! Oh no, it's going backwards again. It's having a bit of a... It's getting confused. Oh dear. So somewhere along the line, this logic is not correct. So, less than 30, it moves it to 90. If it's less than 60, it moves it to 75, and it's gone into... Con oh, Condition 2, and then it goes on to condition something else. It's on condition 2 at the moment, and then it's on condition 3. Less than 20. 150. 180. This should work, but for some reason it's... It's cycling through them all. Daylight sensor, solar angle. It's, it's just solar... Yeah, it's just cycling through the ball very quickly. Ah, yeah, it's just go it's just going through them, uh, which means it's not working correctly. Hmm. Right. So I'm, I'm changing it from less than to greater than, um, because I think it was just cycling through them because um, every state was always true, so it carried on going. But this way, look, I think it's it's currently about eighty at the moment. This way, because it's now great, it's going to be greater than the ninety instead of less than one hundred twenty. This should be now greater than one hundred twenty. So this means it'll it won't actually move on to the next state for another thirty degrees. Right, this should actually work. In fact, it's already working at the moment. I think it's actually facing the it's actually facing the the bit I want it to face. Uh, and state six that should be over then one hundred and fifty confirmed. And there we have it. Um, I think that's actually now correct. Um, it is vaguely facing this. So no, it's not. It's a little... Oh, that's, that's correct. It's actually facing exactly what I want it to do. So, um, there's a... Hmm. We really do need to go and get some more coal, though, because the nights are a mo at the moment are a bit... Hmm. And also, the computer actually has to be on, I think, um, for this to actually work, which means um, as soon as that goes off, as soon as, like a, as soon as I try and charge everything, the computer goes off because there's not enough power going to things. So there's a lot I, I need to work on. But at the moment, it does seem to be actually working. Let's have a look at the thing. Yeah, look, it went to 90 degrees and it just tilted. 
and now it's still facing the sun. So it is actually working. <laughs> and as soon as that gets 120, it'll twiddle again uh, and face that way. So it is actually, it is 100% working. The only trouble is the computer has to be on, I think. Um, otherwise, um, it's not actually going to move. Oh, my power's low now anyway. So anyway, that's a very basic setup of an automated solar panel thing. There's a lot to work on, and I still reckon I need to like um, do some data disk transference into this and rewiring to actually really get things going. But I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments if I can improve this. Um, it's it's complicated, but at least I've done it for now. Anyway, we'll pick this up again soon. Um, maybe I'm before or after Christmas, not quite sure. But um, uh, do subscribe to be notified when it goes, the next one goes live, and I'll see you next time.